This is a quick intro to Flow for Spring XD. After following the installation instructions, you'll end up with a UI that looks a bit like this. It's similar to the default admin UI, where there's a couple of extra options here and there. Create Stream is something new that I talk about in a separate video. Here we're going to look at Stream Health and Stream Throughput. So I have two simple streams defined. Let's open up the timer stream, made of just a time and a log module. It's in grey and we're undeployed. Let's deploy it. Now I'm running three containers behind the scenes here, so let's ask for two instances of each module. That should be fine. So we see the stream turns green, and I get these little dots that show me the instances. So this first instance is running on container A, this one's running on container C, container C, container B. And I also see these throughput numbers. So this is the output rate of time, and this is the input rate for log. Now, time produces a message every one second, and I'm running two instances. So I'd expect this number to settle down to around two, similarly for log. They start out as a bit erratic, but they do eventually settle down. But before they can do that, let's try something different. I'm going to undeploy the stream. It should turn gray again. And let's deploy it again. Remember, I'm only running three containers. So I'm going to ask for four instances of each module, which we can't satisfy. The status is incomplete for this stream, and you'll see it's in yellow. And three of the dots are filled in, but this fourth dot is not, because we have nowhere to run that fourth instance. Let's start that fourth instance. So I'm starting a new container here that's going to sit alongside the other three and be ready to run inst more instances of these modules. Now, what number should this settle down to? Well, currently there are three instances running, so I expect this to settle down to three, similarly for this number. Um, if you request a new, too many instances, like a thousand instances, then instead of getting swarmed in dots, this actually turns into a numeric representation. And you'll see, just now, that fourth container came online. The fourth dot filled in. This is running on container D. And the stream turned green and is now marked deployed. These numbers we would now expect to settle down to around 4. So that's doing the right thing. At the same time, let's look at a different stream. This is our other stream that's doing a tap on the time module. So it's listening into the output of this module. And we're going to pass that through a filter. You'll see the tooltip tells me what expression is being used by this filter. Uh, it says it's looking for messages with a 7 in them. So 17 seconds, 27 seconds, 37 seconds. This is producing the time, and only each time the time ends in a seven is it going to come out of this filter module. So let's deploy this stream. Let's just ask for two instances of this. So we get those two instances. Now this should settle down to around 8, I think, because there are 4 messages coming out of time per second, but there's 2 instances of this stream listening in. So we expect this to settle around to around 8. But notice the throughput rate is much lower coming out of filter, and that's because it's throwing away most of the messages because they don't end in a 7. So this is an example where you don't just see the same number everywhere. This filter box is clearly affecting throughput. And that same throughput is feeding being the input into our log. So that was a quick look at looking at the health of our streams and looking at the throughput of our streams. Thanks for watching.